Hey, what's up, uh, students and parents? Um, I'm Andrew Gittner. Again, I'm either your teacher or I'm your student's teacher. So I just wanted to quickly introduce you to like three things that are pretty important for this upcoming unit. Uh, the first thing is I'm hoping to have this unit run from the 22nd to probably like the last day before spring break. Um, that gives us about a month. Um, in this next unit, we're going to be reading one of my favorite books. It's called The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. Um, it is a fantastic book where if you read um, the very first, the title page, actually, there's a key distinction here from what a lot of people think the book is. Um, it's, I want to say it's a delightful story. Um, a few trigger warnings. Uh, there is some some adult language um there is some adult content and there is some violence and descriptions of violence so i just wanted you guys to like know that up front um i've only gotten one person who's ever complained that it was inappropriate to read ever and um you know i don't based on what i know about you i don't i don't think we're gonna i don't think we're feeling that this year um this is though unqualified without a doubt one of my favorite books uh, on the face of the planet it's a book that i've read do like a dozen times and you get something different each time uh, really the focus of our unit this time is going to be the difference between subjective and objective reality um, because the way this story comments and shows the power of stories is it's mind-bending man it's good um, so that's, that's sort of like where we're going to go with that. We're going to do a lot of analyze, like the essential focus uh, for this unit is to analyze the structure of this book, meaning, yeah, literally the order in which events are portrayed, but also how the order of how the author intentionally ordered events in order to develop a specific theme. All right. That's kind of like a difficult thing for most people to wrap their heads around, but it's important to know that the order in which we put things is inseparable from the order, from the the way those things work or they mean, right? Imagine if you put to get a car together in the wrong order. It wouldn't really be a car anymore. It would be scrap. So that being said, uh, let's shift gears a little bit. There are a lot of things I don't know uh, about this next month. One is I know, and if somebody wants to yell at me for saying this, they can, but like kind of an open secret already, I know that the, illustrious Jefferson County Public Schools is demanding that y'all return 100% in person. Now, whether you think that's good, bad, or indifferent, cool. Uh, that's really immaterial to what we're talking about right now. Right now, I need you to know that things during this unit might change because literally right now, I do not know where you're going to be on any given class day. So it's like, I I'm gonna ask that like you and your families be adaptable this unit. Um, and like we, we've got a pretty good relationship, hopefully, so far. Um, I'm, I think we can work together. If there are things that like aren't working out, like please talk to me. Feel free to email me, message me on Google Chat. Uh, there's a phone number from the syllabus you can just shoot me a text at, like whatever. But please, the most important thing to do is to like stay in contact with me. The second most important thing to do is to actually read the book. Okay. Um, I do a lot of warm-ups based on some kind of question that requires that you read and remember what you read. Okay, like I cannot stress how much that's important. Like your parents will tell you, you should be able to read a book and remember what you read. If you don't do things like annotate, like use post-its or write in the book, you're gonna have a hard time with that. Regardless of whether we're in person or remote, you're going to have an extremely difficult time if a week goes by before you look at the book again, okay? You need to have notes that you can look at in the beginning of class or you know, the day before class. It's, it's just the thing you need to do. Nobody, very few people read everything on a first go and have it memorized. It's just not normal. Do yourself a favor, make your life easier and just annotate as you read. We'll go over what that looks like our very first day in person in this unit. Um, so that's like, as we're reading, it's one, most important thing is you get this book. Two, you gotta, you gotta take notes. You gotta write your thoughts down, ideally next to or near or with the quote that inspired those thoughts. We're gonna do a lot of discussion this unit. And if you have nothing to say, you're gonna feel really awkward. 
you know, regardless of how many students are in the room, regardless of whether or not we're able to do physical distancing, and regardless of whether or not we're meeting CDC guidelines for, you know, actually having low transmission in schools, regardless of any of that, you have to annotate. All right. The last thing is this final assessment for this unit. It's usually two things. One is called a concept map, right? So very essentially, very basically, what that is, is a concept map is when you draw the relationship between multiple concepts. After most of the chapters, we're going to have some time in class and at home. All right. This is going to be a very consistent part of the part of the lesson. I'm going to ask that you draw like you set a 20 minute timer and just like draw your understanding how different things from different chapters relate to each other. Um, this is going to come in a lot of handy at the end of the unit, because if you don't do this throughout the unit, you end up having to go back and recreate a bunch of stuff um, that you should have had all along. The next part of that final assessment is usually a literary analysis essay. Okay, so we have roughly five weeks in this unit. Um, about four weeks is reading and like doing some work and some discussion and building our ideas. The last week typically is putting those ideas to paper. So just know that that's the structure of the unit. That's going to be the end assessment. Um, as always, I'm going to have like a proficiency scale that, you know, is aligned to that. Um, but again, this is the book that most sophomores at Golden remember reading if they actually read it. And this is the unit that expands people's minds if they participate. And I really like, I want that for you. All right. So just to rehash, um, one, you got to get this book. Uh, you can grab it on Amazon. You can, uh, I, we're going to check them out from the library. If you want, you can do both. Uh, and I'm also going to have a PDF as well as an audio book available for you on Google classroom, the whole unit. And I just give it to everybody just in case you leave your book at home, leave it at a parent's house or, um, really like using an audio book. Like you're going to be able to do all those things. Second is you you have to annotate, right? I like, um, so I have post-its. Yeah. I like using post-its to annotate, especially when like, I don't own the book. I do own this book. This is mine. So I do have all of my notes written in it um, from over the past several years. And that's a real advantage for me. I hope that you decide to make it a real advantage for you as well. And third, as we read, I am going to ask that you draw your understanding. Stick figures are fine. I don't care. Um, I don't even care if you do it digitally, do Google image searches and use those plus labels plus arrows to show how things are related. Um, I am going to ask that you do what are called concept maps and you draw how different concepts and ideas are related. You'll find this really, really beneficial toward the end of the unit when we're putting all of our thinking together. Um, also, if you can draw the structure of your understanding, then you can analyze literary structure. Notice it comes full circle. Sorry this video was really long. Um, I hope that it finds you in good health. I hope that it finds you safe. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Uh, last announcement, parent-teacher conferences. Uh, parent-teacher conferences are this Wednesday, um, and you can sign up through a link on the GHS website. Um, I still have a bunch of slots available. I had to book out some of them, um, but not all of them. And I'm really looking forward to talking with you. If you have any, I'm just putting, I'm going to put in like the big grade from our last unit this week. So I imagine many of you will have questions. I'm happy to talk about them. I'm looking forward to meeting you. I'm looking forward to talking, meeting you again, hopefully. And I'm looking forward to talking with you. Um, and as always, like shoot me an email. I will get back to you. I've been a little spottier as of late, but I'm still within the 48 hours. So things are looking good. Anyway, again, hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you.